Rob is back with us for a look at your forecast. Hey, Rob. Yeah, we're going to see the temperatures warm up quite a bit. You know, we made it to 50 today. Not everyone, but just about everyone made it close to that. We'll do that again for tomorrow. We also got 60 degree readings that we're expecting by Monday. Again, not for everyone, but I'm here to show you exactly where we will see some of that warmer air move in. Here's a larger picture. Notice the rain that rolled through earlier today moved out pretty quickly. It's already over into parts of Ohio at this hour, and uh, we're seeing the skies clear for the most part. So as we get in a little bit closer and again, look at those temperatures, you can see that some locations a little bit cooler down around freezing for Aurora, but still into the mid to upper 30s for most of the City. And I think as the city gets down to around 30, many of the outlying locations are expecting to get down into the 20s. And I do think 20s will probably be dominant, although the city here into the 30s, uh, that'll be a pretty typical start for your morning tomorrow. And then we'll see the temperatures begin to rise. Overall, kind of uneventful over the next 24 hours or so, although there is still a chance for some scattered showers. We'll start again into the 30s. We'll have a little bit of an east or a southeast wind coming right off of the lake, so that may keep you slightly cooler. Lake temperatures are still running into the 30s. So while I'm saying 50s areas right along the lakefront, you're going to stay just a bit cooler because of that east wind right off of the lake from the loop up to, uh, from the loop up to uh, Lakeview all the way up to maybe Waukegan. I think your temperatures will probably stay stuck in the 50s or excuse me, the 30s for most of the day until we get some of this rain to roll in sometime late Sunday night. We do expect some scattered showers. It's not going to impact most of your day on Sunday. So most of your forecast for your Sunday after afternoon should be looking pretty good. By the time we get into Monday morning, I think the heaviest of the rain will move out. So I don't think we're going to have a commute that's going to be uh, dealing with some wet roadways. Most of the rain will have been uh, moved through already. But by the time we get into the afternoon, we may have a few scattered showers and these will be very scattered in nature as the temperatures will get into the 50s for most of the day. And I'm actually setting my high temperature of 60 uh, for the afternoon on Monday. So really a mild pattern, especially as we're only in the first week of March. We're looking at 50 for tomorrow. We're looking at 60 for your Monday. And while there is a chance of rain late Sunday. I don't really think it's going to impact most of your day on Sunday. Monday, watch for that chance for scattered showers. Once we get through that mild pattern for the next couple of days, it's kind of back to reality here. We've got 42, the average high for this time of year. We'll be very close to that for the next several days, though I did bump these numbers up just a little bit. We had some upper 30s in here. It looks like it may be just a little bit milder than that, but we also have a chance for some rain showers to come back in along with a little bit of snow possible on Thursday, but those chances are very light and as we get a little bit closer, we'll start to narrow down that forecast. Charlie looks good. Thanks so much, Rob.